A lot of you guys have been asking for a tutorial on text, so today we're going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to jump into my camera roll first, and I'm going to select a photo. Let's go ahead and find a good one here. I had an awesome one. I really love this photo. And again, you can get all these photos from Unsplash. So you can check them out, instagram.com backslash unsplash or unsplash.com. And check this beauty out. Really awesome photo. So we're going to start off with a pretty good photo. I'm going to go ahead and crop. So I'm going to skip the presets that I've created. And just to start, I'm just going to throw in a quick shape really quickly just to get some background. So I'm going to go to the gradients because I already know what I want to do. Um, make that a little larger. And let's add a filter to it, a blue one. Okay. That's a pretty decent starting point for a background. So now we're going to jump into the text button right here over top right. Tap that. And we can start off here. This feels pretty epic. So how about we inspire the masses? Do something. Right? So we're just typing in there and that's not an issue. You can go ahead and click on the AA button here to change the font. So I'm going to go with Bebas, but there's a ton. You can just scroll up and down to whatever you like and you can kind of like check out all the fonts. But I'm going to go with Bebas. Press the check mark up here top right when you're done and you're happy. And then this plus button doesn't enlarge your text, it actually adds a new layer. So I want another layer of text so I can format it um, easily. So I'm going to go ahead and press the plus button. And the next word I'm going to go with is epic. Do something epic. So we're going to again select the font, press the check mark, and when you're all done adding all your text, you can go ahead and press the check mark. The text works the exact same way as the patterns and the shapes. So they're all individual layers. So you can just tap on another one, move it around. You can rotate it, two finger pinch to make it bigger. Um, all types of fun stuff. So what I'm going to do though is I'm going to reset that and I'm going to format this text here. So I'm going to get this here, reset that. And let's get this set up correctly. So you got epic here. Let's make, epic needs to be big. This is epic. This photo is epic. And for typography's sake, let's make this one larger and line it up. There we go. Feeling pretty good about that. Epic feels like it's a little low. But right now I'm using the pixel perfection tools down on the bottom. It moves your shape up one pixel at a time so you can get it exactly where you want it. So let's go ahead with Epic. Let's move that up a little bit. Now that's looking a little better, but let's drop that right into the middle because it's all about the golden rule of thirds here. So with that being said, you can do a lot of things with the colors now. You can go ahead and go into the color tab. If you don't like the white, we can change it and swing it around. Another fun thing I like to do is let's just take the color. The, the left one is color right here, this left slider. So if we take the color all the way down, you can, in, you can go with just a filter on the bottom layer here. We can do something like this, do something epic. Let's see here. What well, looks good? You guys like orange? Okay. You can do orange. Then I'm going to go over to epic and I'm going to do the exact same thing because I think if we go with orange here, it's going to be, have a nice contrast against that. And the cool thing too about the colors is you can actually blend the color and the filter um, slider. So I have a filter applied now, but I can also apply a color if I feel like, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to see. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a color here. I'm going to go with orange to reinforce it. And I'm going to add that orange in there and you can see how that removes the sum of the filter, but also it, it's actually blending with the filter. So you can create a custom colors, custom filters. And let's try to get something that's, that works here. So that's a little bit, 
I'm actually adding blue to this orange filter and it's making a more solid orange. So let's do the exact same thing to this top layer. I think I was at 50. Sorry, I'm a perfectionist, so I gotta get to 50. Um, and that's feeling pretty epic there. That's, and that's how you do text. And you can add as many layers up to 10 as you want. If you want to get back to the keyboard, you can press this button right here on the left. So let's add another layer. Let's call it, do something more <laughs> epic. And let's get a different font here just to switch it up in the middle. Mm. Kind of like this paint one. So if we're going to do something more epic, we need to make some room here <clears throat> for more. And now we can kind of have some fun with the typography and play with the layering. And again, I've just jumped over the color tab here and we can kind of take, take a look at some of these colors. And another cool thing, if you want a little tip on how to create a shadow, you just add two layers of the same layer on top of each other. So for instance, I'll go with black to create the shadow, go back to the keyboard, add a new layer, go back to more again. So now I have two more tabs. And as you can see, I'm creating a shadow just like that by layering it on top of the other one. What color were we at? I can't even remember. Red, right, blue? No, we were in a blue. No, that red kind of looked good. Yellow is too crazy. I'm a sucker for strawberry, strawberry pink. And there you have it. Now you have your text is outlined um, with a Back, uh, drop shadow and that's one of the cool like a little bit more advanced tricks that you could do with with the text and it's pretty fun another thing too is you could actually just drop that out and now you have the opposite effect of the filter where it's seen through to the background so there's a lot of little tricks that you're you've got to figure out and play with uh, with the app um, to really understand what's going on. But that's why we're doing these tutorials so you guys can learn all the ins and outs of PhotoCanny. And that's pretty much all there is to the text. So when you're creating text edits on PhotoCanny, do something more epic. Anyways, check us out. That's, that's the end of this tutorial and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.